Hey Planner Babes, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video I want to show you guys how I create my meal plan and then transfer it into my happy planner. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you let me know in the comments below so I know to create more meal planning and um, fitness videos like this one. So in a video that I did last week, I showed you guys how I transfer my actual meal plan into my mini happy planner. Here it is. And so in this video, what I want to do is actually show you how I create the meal plan. I've been meal planning for a couple of years. Actually, let's say it's 2018 right now. So it's been like four years that I've been meal planning. And I just kind of want to show you guys my process. It does change a lot, especially just depending on the season. So I'll kind of explain that in just a minute. But what I do is I just take, and I'll show you a couple examples. I have these hot mess <laughs> meal plans. And before I found the Happy Planner, I used to literally just use sheets of paper. And I would fold these up like this. And I would just stick them in my purse and they would go with me everywhere. To be very honest with you, this system worked fine. There was nothing wrong with it. However, it was not as cute and as fun as having a um, happy planner to track all your workouts and meals and um, steps and, <clears throat> excuse me, all of that stuff. So this is how I used to do it. Nothing wrong with it. If you don't have a happy planner, um, you can definitely do it this way. There's Again, there's nothing wrong with it. So I start with this hot mess and then it gets transferred into my planner. And I just want to show you guys really quickly like what my thought process process is and how I do this. Oh, my binder has been used too much. The things I don't want to open. So I just start with a sheet of paper. Whoops. And I just make crazy lines on it. And then I'll label them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I will use this section here as my, um, a place to write down my grocery list as I'm planning. Um, that way whenever, and I don't take this to the grocery store with me, I usually put it on um, like an index card and then that's what goes with me to the grocery store. And I do it this way because my son likes to um, mark off things on the list as we get them and I do not want him drawing in my planner so I don't put my grocery list in there um, maybe one day I'll do that and he he won't want to mark off my list but for now he's my little helper so all right and I start by doing breakfast lunch dinner and snacks Okay, so from there, my, and I have to explain to you right now, like summer's coming, so I'm in this whole like salad kick where I wanna eat salads all the time. So I just recently kinda changed the way that I plan and I just wanna explain that to you so you'll understand how I do this. So on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for lunch, I um, eat leftovers from the night before so on Monday Wednesday Friday I and this might it's gonna get confusing and you're probably gonna be like what but once I actually make the meal plan you guys will understand but on Monday Wednesday Friday I cook dinners that I know will have leftovers from and I will make them where I have more food that way we do have leftovers and then that way I'll eat them the next day for lunch on Tuesday Thursday and Saturday nights I usually make dinners that we don't have left or a lot of leftovers from or it's something that like for example if I make tacos I don't or burgers or something like that sometimes I just don't want to eat those the next day because it's gross heated up or you know whatever but that's kind of my thought process and that's how I'm gonna um, plan out my meals for this week so Monday Wednesday and Friday where I'm gonna have salads for lunch and then that means that on Monday night, whatever I cook Monday night, I need to have leftovers to eat on Tuesday. Same thing for Wednesday, whatever I cook Wednesday night, I need leftovers 
for Thursday. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and start to fill in my dinners. And I wanna tell you guys too, this has taken me, um, it took me a long time in the beginning to get to a place where I have a lot of recipes just kinda remembered in my head like what we like to eat. Initially, whenever I would meal plan, it would take a lot longer because I had to get on Pinterest and Google and um, cookbooks and all these things trying to find recipes that my family would love. But now I kind of have them down to a T. So that's um, makes it a little bit easier. But if you're not there yet, you will get there. Just keep keep doing it. One thing, too, I'll show you that I like to do, and I just started using this. So if you look here. When I got it, I initially was like practicing in it, like making some different layouts and stuff. So that's how I was doing that. But um, so I just started using this. But what I do like to do is sometimes if I get like where I can't think of things to have for dinner, I'll go back and look at old meal plans. And sometimes I even copy them. So even if you don't have a happy planner and you do it on sheets of paper, keep your old meal plans because they will come in handy in the future. Like they are right now. I'm going to use mine. Whoops, wrong place. And you guys, to save you some writing, especially if you're going to transfer this into your happy planner, I am a arrow person. Right, all the arrows. And so, see, that means that I'm going to eat this for lunch the next day. And another thing, too, I want to tell you before I start to fill all this in is that for breakfast, I'm not a big breakfast fan. If it was up to me, I would literally just drink coffee all morning and then not eat till lunch. But I feel so much better when I actually eat. So I've been trying to make myself get back into the habit of eating breakfast. And what I like to do is alternate. So like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will have one type of breakfast. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I'll have another. And then Sunday is usually something different. And I'm going to actually copy the exact same breakfast that I had last week because I liked it. It was really easy to make and it was yummy. So now if this was me normally doing this, I may not and it's in completely top, um, copy all of that down because I know it's already laid out here. And whenever I actually transfer it into next week's spread, I would just know I could look back right here and see what they are. But for the sake of just showing you guys how I do this, I do. I am going to go ahead and write everything down. So, um, flax cereal, almond milk, eggs, spinach. And then what I do, too, that will help me keep me from having to write so much is, um, I'll like right here, I'll write Monday. Because then I can look back at Monday's breakfast and see that that's what I'm going to have. And then Tuesday is going to be a green smoothie and a protein bar. So I feel like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are my actual good big breakfasts. And then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are more like easier for me to eat. So that's just kind of how I do it. And again here I'm going to write Tuesday and Tuesday. Whoops, what in the world is happening there? That is not how you spell Tuesday. Okay, there we go. And then if you see here, Sunday, the meal plan is... I did not finish writing that meal plan out. Okay, it was sausage and something, but that's what I want to do this Sunday is I like getting up Sunday mornings and making a little bit of a different breakfast for the family, so for my family. So we're going to do sausage, eggs with spinach, and then sometimes if like, for example, I don't like bacon. My husband likes bacon. And so I will put in parentheses bacon for like him and my son and they'll, um, they'll eat the bacon, but I'm not going to. So the parentheses tells me that this is for, and this is really helpful if you have like, say you're trying to eat clean, but yet your family's not quite on board with it yet. They're not up for all the veggies and stuff that you're eating. You can make them their add things to it in parentheses and that separates it for you so you know that you're not supposed to be eating this or you don't want it or don't like it or whatever or it's for them so let's see I didn't do it on this meal plan anywhere I was looking to see but that's just another little tip that I do and so Tuesday night we're gonna do burgers 
with mixed veggies. And so see, I won't reheat a hamburger up that's disgusting. So um, I won't eat that the next day. And then Wednesday, here we had tacos. Hmm, they're pretty good. Let's do that again. Gosh, guys, I may end up actually, and I don't mind to heat up taco meat. That's not too bad for me. And the rest of it's pretty much cold stuff. But I may end up copying 90% of this meal plan out. Except for Thursday. Thursday we had ch chicken and veggies. And to be honest with you, I'm sick of chicken. So, what sounds good? You know what? We are going to do this. Cheat meal. Yay! And guys, I want to say too on the cheat meal thing, I don't do a whole entire cheat day. And when I do do a cheat meal, I don't like, like say I love Olive Garden, I love pasta, I could eat pasta at every single meal, I could also eat steak at every single meal. But let's say we go to Olive Garden, and I mean they bring you out a plate that's the size of this paper, you know what I mean? It's huge and it's plump full of food, which is awesome. But I don't eat all of it. So when I do a cheat meal, I don't gorge myself. I don't make myself sick. I literally just eat a, you know, a normal portion size of my, um, whatever I'm having, and I just enjoy it, and then that's it. So that's good too to do that on a day. Like if you're like if you're gonna do it my way, anyways, where I, um, will fix something for dinner one night and eat it for lunch the next day. This is good to do this on a day if you can. But the next day you already have something planned out that's not leftovers. So. Friday, we're gonna do that same thing again. And then I will eat that for lunch. It's not a good arrow. And then Saturday, we did vegetable soup. Let's do taco soup. We haven't had it in a while. And then Sunday for lunch is going to be taco soup. And then sometimes, like, see Sunday here, I have burgers. So that's super easy to do. And I don't, and Monday, again, I'm on the salad kick. So Monday, then I will end up eating another salad next week. Or I can change it, but. Now, I have to tell you guys, my snacks are relatively the same each and every single day. Actually, all last week, they were the same, except for one day I ended up adding, um, eating veggies and dip instead of my normal apple and peanut butter and, uh, mixed nuts. So that is typically, my snacks are usually the same. They don't, I don't change them very often. I'm not, I, when I first started meal planning, I used to be that person that's like, I need variety. I've got to have different things every single day. And I'm to the point now that it, I mean, it, it's not that I don't like enjoy eating my food. Cause I'm, this is going to sound like ridiculous, but like, I really don't care. Like if it's apples every single day, that's fine with me. I'm not going to complain. They're good for me. They make me feel good. So I don't mind to eat, you know, relatively the same things over and over again. So that is actually going to be the same for every single day. Apple, peanut butter, and nuts. And I just write nuts because sometimes I will change up what kind I have, whether they're peanuts, walnuts, you know, cashews, anything like that. So that's the same here. It's the same here. It's the same here, here, and here, and here. And then sometimes what I like to do is also eat, like I said, veggies and dip or cottage cheese or something like that. But usually I keep it the same. And then once my meal plan is complete like this, what I will do is I will use these two blocks to start making a grocery list. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll fast forward it so you don't have to wait. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Okay guys, so that's my grocery list. And for most of the things that, especially whenever I eat, you know, relatively the same each week, most of the things that we need we already have, so I don't have to add them to the grocery list. But I do want to show you a little, something that I do is, when I make my grocery list, I literally do it day by day. That way I don't have to worry about missing anything. And if there's something that we have to buy multiple things of, so like for example, whenever we buy hamburger, um, I got it here on Tuesday, I have it here, I have it here, and I have it here, so we need four of them. So what I will do is, 
right here is burger. I have it wrote down here, but I don't write that I, I don't look for all of them until I get to the days, if that makes sense. So like, okay, I see I got um, burger here. So I'll just put burger with a line out and I put one because that means I need one so far. I look here, okay, there I need two. So I put another line and then <laughs> okay here I need it so that's three and then here I need it and that's four and then whenever I transfer this from here to a little card I'll just write out like burger four and that tells me that I need to get four of them so that's just kind of how I do that and I ended up having to I don't even know if you guys could see that so see where it says burger and then I've got that out there and for protein bars I just counted them how many I needed after I wrote them down um so let me see there was something else was, oh taco soup i gotta look at the recipe to remember the, all the ingredients for that so i just kind of blocked that out because i don't remember everything we put in it but yeah that is my meal plan for this week so what i'll do from here and i'm not going to show you now because i have another video where i show you how i do this and i will link to it down in the description box but normally what i would do is just take my planner pull out the days the week and then I would just transfer it from this into here. That way it's neat, it's organized, everything looks good, and it's not, you know, this mess. But again, if you don't have a planner and this is what you're using, there's nothing wrong with that. I did that forever. And I used to pack around a binder with me too, a big giant binder. So nothing wrong with that if that's what you have to do. And I also got these out to show you guys. Um, I did show you in the video where I did this. And again, I'll have it linked, but... If you're wondering what these are, the highlighted things, I love these highlighters. They are, um, I don't know if it's spelled zebra, but I'm assuming they probably, it's from Japan, so they probably don't say it normally, but um, these are called mild liners. They have really, really pretty colors. You can get all kinds of different colors in them, but that's what I use to block out, work out the things that I track, like my steps and water, and then also my meal plan. So that's it, guys. That's how I create my meal plan, and... Okay, guys, that's how I create my meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. I seriously appreciate it. And um, if this video helped you, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have any questions, if I didn't explain something or um, forgot to explain something, pretty good at that, comment below and let me know. And make sure, again, you give this video a thumbs up. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.